Hey everyone, it's Alan from OC Nerf. Just want to do a quick update video on this iteration of this cylinder print. And I want to say I think it's fairly successful. The issues that were I was having were related to this area back here. Not quite plugging in to the um, hole correctly. So that way it wasn't, uh, it wasn't creating a perfect seal. There would be a little bit of a gap. Um, so I printed it out a couple of different times, um, getting closer each time, and I think I've got it this time. And also, um, here's a little rotation test. Let me see if I can hold this down. Do need to put pressure here since there is no other half of the shell right now. But we're going to rotate through. Get my fingers out of the way. Here we go. One rotation. Two rotation. Three rotation. It's a little hard to put pressure. There we go. Next rotation. Next rotation. Next one's going to have a dart in it, so we're going to actually be able to fire that one. As you can see here, <clears throat> that seal is right up against it. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and give this one a test fire. That dart is gone. Okay, um, yeah, this is very successful as far as I'm concerned. Um, probably going to print another one just to um, try it again. And a uh, couple of other cleanup things that I wanted to do um, to this iteration of it. But the gears are rotating correctly. The seal is perfect. Um, getting a good air seal out of the barrels as well to shoot the darts. Um, yeah, this is turning out to be really nice. And uh, I know I've been playing the black ones. I wanted to do this um, clear-ish, somewhat clear-ish one, um, mainly because I ran out of black filament. So uh, it's kind of interesting. You can see the dart through it. I've also been playing with little lights here and there to kind of See how much it illuminates things. Um, so playing with that. Um, the other things I'm working on with, if I can get it. There we go. The other things I'm working on with this hammer shot all involve spacers. <clears throat> these are spacers to the spring. Um, I have not yet tested these. I've just printed them, so I'm actually kind of curious if they will work. So let me get this spring out. Let me put the basic one in there, which is this one. Kind of curious if this will work. Fits nice. Spring rests. Uh, which way is this? This way? Yeah. Inside. I think. Or is it the other way? That's much tighter fit. There we go. Nope, it was the other way. I haven't messed with the spring on this yet as it's pretty beefy, but I'll try this now. That was really tight. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's see if it can take it. Look at that. Nice compression. Where's that dart? So I don't dry fire this. Um, oh, it's already inside of it. There we go. There. And a test fire with that dart. Yeah, that was significant. Okay, um, that one worked out really nicely. Uh, these other ones I'm going to be testing with different springs as um, where I got these from are four different uh, sizes of spring, um, like for um, a retaliator spring, so you've got a little bit more padding, uh, a little bit more room in there. Um, 
So I have yet to test these, but that one worked out really nicely and it got a pretty much almost full compression. Um, that was a really good seal out of this and that hit significantly harder from just the sound bit. Um, yeah, I'm overall pretty pleased with how this is turning out and I will keep you guys updated with more stuff. Alright everybody, have a good day and Nerf on.